Hey guys, what's up? My name is Florence. You are watching Tech Pace, and this is the video that was long time coming. Let's talk about how to make video editing PCs. I was actually planning to make some videos on tutorials of Adobe Premiere Pro, but before I could just maybe step on that series, I was literally had this snap in my mind that I should maybe do a one specific video about how to basically assemble your own or maybe how to basically choose your best possible parts for your editing PC, and that's exactly where the sponsor of today's video stepped. And I'm talking about AMD. This video has been sponsored by AMD, and AMD makes great GPUs, great CPUs. Every single thing will be linked in the description box below. In case you want to check out their CPUs or GPUs, check out the link in the description box below. If you are watching this video on YouTube, then it means you are watching a part of. 500 hours of footage uploaded on YouTube every single minute. You could very well be watching this video on both Instagram and or Facebook and the statistics are absolutely mind boggling there too. And everything is happening all because of the content creators that are uploading videos on such a massive surge on these platforms for real no cap. But now that you are watching this video and in case I assume that you want to become a content creator, all you have to do is basically pick up a smartphone or a camera, start recording yourself and then what you need to do is to just sit on a computer system and edit that thing out. Even KC Bhaiya said the same thing. The edit is everything. The edit is everything and for editing you would need a good video editing rig and that's exactly where this video comes in because in this video we'll be having a look at AMD based, Ryzen based, radio on based editing computer systems. In short, we'll just focus on three different price points on three different specifications and for people who want to build a new PC like they are completely new into editing and for people who want to upgrade to a better PC. So like I'm going to be covering every single topic in this specific video. So let's just not waste any more time and let's just begin the video about the Ryzen based, Radeon based, basically all out AMD based editing rigs. So let me just stop the intro and let's just focus on the first out of three PC configuration that we're going to be having a look today. So let's just have a look at the number one voila PC. Yeah, I am really going to call the PC number one as the most affordable PC from the entire list of mine. Reason being this has got the most affordable parts in this one. Also, you can try and save a lot of money while building this PC. Because here we're going to be using a Ryzen 5 3600 6 cores, 12 threads. I'm going to be using 8 plus 8 GB of RAM. Core cell vengeance frequency 3200 megahertz. I'm gonna be using a Western Digital 1 terabyte solid state drive. I'm gonna be using a MSI B450M motherboard that is gonna be the VDH model. And I'm gonna be using a graphic card which is gonna be the 5500 XT. Now that's a great GPU, also 450 wattage of a power supply unit. And when talking about the performance, this thing can really do wonders because this thing can easily stitch your footage together. This thing can easily warp stabilize your footage. This thing can easily handle all the adjustment layers, all the effects. Now, because of the existence of the GPU, it can even handle a lot of uh, effects and AI things too. So pretty much at this price point, this can really be a great editing build for any kind of a usage unless and until you want to completely go for a 4K uh, video editing rig because in 4K, I would really recommend you to step up a notch and just go for something a little bit better. But again, at the resolution of 1080p, that means full HD resolution, you can literally get the job done without even any kind of uh, hiccup whatsoever. Also, this one terabyte of NVMe solid state drive is absolutely amazing because this can act both like your, uh, you know, boot drive and at the same time can act as your scratch drive. So whenever your work is done, just dump the footage into an external drive just to save up some more storage uh, room inside of a solid state drive. So this was the PC number one. Great purchase, no doubt about that. Let's now have a look at PC number two. Achha, before we discuss the PC number two, let's have a look at the cabinet. I would really say you go for something which is having great ventilation and keyboard mouse will be according to you and the monitor will be just, just buy an IPS monitor, do not buy a TN panel. That is it. Let's now focus on PC number two. The PC number two is basically going to be very similar to the PC number one. Reason being, we're going to be using almost similar parts that we have used in the PC number one. That means the same motherboard that is going to be the MSI B450M, the same RAM that is going to be the Corsair Vengeance, the same power supply unit that means the 450 watt of Corsair, the same one terabyte of NVMe storage by Western Digital, the same graphic card that is going to be the Radeon 5500 XT. The change is going to be, however, in the CPU department. We're going to be using the latest 5600X in the second number ka PC. Now, this latest 5600X comes with Zen 3 architecture and this Zen 3 architecture comes with its own 
quirks and features now this zen 3 architecture gives the 5600x the additional benefit of having an improved ipc and also performing better at a lower power consumption that means it's going to consume less power and going to give you better performance so it's just amazing now performance wise if you want to edit your 4k videos yes the pc number two can easily handle those 4k edits for real let's now talk about pc number three which is going to be absolutely a baller pc to talk about yeah now this is the bling bling pc for people who want to have a complete no compromise mean machine for themselves for people who want to do a lot of video editing but on a professional level something like that can handle a lot of multitasking that means using a simultaneous usage of both adobe premiere pro and after effects etc 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 so let's just have a look at the specifications of this mean machine now the cpu in this one is going to be the ryzen 9 5950x the motherboard is going to be the msi meg not the meg but the meg x570 motherboard the gpu is going to be the radeon rx 6700 xt brutally powerful gpu for real for storage two western digital blue nvme solid state drive of one terabyte each and for cooling i would really say to go for something which is having 360 millimeter radiator because that is going to provide ample cooling to the 5950x 240 can be used but i would recommend to go for a 360 millimeter radiator yeah and the power supply would be a 850 watt gold certified cooler master mwe power supply unit then again the cabinet the keyboard the mouse would be of your choice the display would be I think something which is having a 99% or 100% sRGB, a 4K monitor would be absolutely perfect with this kind of a setup. So yeah, there is that too. I mean, performance wise, this is made for people who want to use cameras like Blackmagic, RED, you know, people who want to edit on 4K, 6K and even on 8K, people who want to have a lot of, uh, you know, simultaneous work going on for people who want to have their computer system running for around 24 7 doing a lot of rendering doing a lot of multitasking etc 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 i actually forgot to tell you about the ram the ram will be around 16 gb plus 16 gb of ram stick at the frequency of around 3200 megahertz so yeah there is that also the ram can be easily upgraded to 64 gb on even day one and the solid state drive is just great because it can be used in raid oh that just rhymed and also the cpu is absolutely insane because of 16 cores 32 threads freakishly amazing and the gpu is again crazy because based on rdna 2 and it is having great freakishly amazing 12 gigs of vram so just baller a complete baller exam. and hence there is no doubt about this thing that applications like blender applications like after effects everything will run like a charm on this kind of a monster pc so that is it this sums up my three stages of pc recommendation the budget pc the master pc and the baller pc now there is no denying the fact that the market right now is absolutely inflated yet if you are looking forward to buy yourself an editing pc these recommendations can really be considered and uh, that will sum up my video for today drop a like drop a comment and subscribe to the channel would be absolutely amazing so that's it for this one guys take care and i'll meet you all in the next one johnny out peace